Well, first of all, thank you both very much indeed for taking the time out of your busy schedules to talk to us today. Thank you for inviting you. us. That's fantastic. So we're talking about uh, the, the AAA and, the, and, and, and its future, where we're going from here. So, so at that start off, what are, what, what are some of your main priorities right now? Well, I, you know, I'm just finishing my first year uh, in this position, and uh, uh, I'm charged by the board to uh, keep the association financially healthy. Uh, we have a program to continue to engage in a global exchange of scholarship through our publishing and our meeting programs. We're interested in growing and diversifying um, our membership uh, to promote that global exchange. Um, and uh, we're interested also in uh, highlighting the great contributions that our members make through engagement, outreach, making the public more aware of uh, how anthropology contributes to human understanding. It's one of the big issues, isn't it, at the moment, which is you and your members doing such fantastic work on some of those big topics that... Uh, well, we've actually we've put together some task forces to try to really take a look at some of those big topics. Right. So climate change, for example, is one of them. Race and racism is another one. Education is another area. So there are some specific areas where we feel these are matters of broad public concern, locally, regionally, globally. And anthropology has a lot to say about that. So one of the things that we're really trying to focus on is identifying our members who have expertise in particular areas so that we can get them engaged in debates wherever they happen to be occurring. What do you think, how do you, how do you find the health of the organization at the moment? Are you optimistic? Is, uh, are we moving forward? It's been amazing. In the last four years, there's been tremendous growth. People keep saying, you know, meetings, they're so big, they're circuses, and yet every year there's more and more people, more students, and interestingly, more people coming who are based outside of the United States. So there is, I think, a movement uh, in anthropology in general to, for, towards synergy, synergy globally, and um, talked about some of the areas of global exchange. And we've been experimenting with uh, various collaborations with sister organizations around the world as part of a development of world anthropologies, but also, uh, very importantly, trying to engage in conversations with other kinds of stakeholders, whether that's the media, whether that's government, uh, whether that's community organizations, NGOs. So those are all um, areas where, in fact, every move we make, there's all kinds of people interested in engaging in those conversations, interested in coming here to the meetings to do that, interested in meeting up in other places to do that. So uh, apparently there are lots of conversations going on in which anthropology is understood to be a place to have those conversations. I've been going around uh, reintroducing the association and introducing myself over the past year and I just get this overwhelmingly heartening feeling that this is a good time for anthropology. People are welcoming the intellectual contributions that we have to make, the problem solving contributions and the uh, sort of the global scale of our fine grained understanding of things that are happening all over the place. One of the interesting things is that it's even in areas like, for example, security and intelligence, where in the public sphere there tends to be a lot of focus on the STEM disciplines. The intelligence area itself is actually extremely interested in anthropology. There are mixed feelings about that. Uh, but uh, even in areas where you, you, know, you think people are saying, you know, oh, anthropology, social sciences, humanities, uh, what do they have to say? People involved in those domains people involved in mining, for example, are increasingly saying, oh, there's stuff going on here that we need to understand. Find us an anthropologist who will help us figure out what's going on. And, and we need to place that in context. Education reform in this country, immigration reform all over the world, uh, natural resource protection, cultural heritage protection. Uh, the, these are all areas of great um, important moment. And uh, uh, if you look over the program here, even at this annual meeting, there's an anthropologist uh, who has thoughtful things to say about every single one of those topics. Well, thank you both very much indeed for joining uh, us today. We really appreciate it. Fascinating stuff. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.